to Monroe TV. My name is Dean and today I'm lucky enough to be joined by my colleague and dear friend Larky. The two of us are going to be telling you about the basics of contingencies. One of the questions we get asked probably the most by attorneys is firstly, uh, where the heck is my report? Uh, we're not going to deal with that you know, in this video. Another question is what are contingencies? Contingencies are events or risks that may or may not happen, um, which will basically impact a claimant's earning capacity, if it's a loss of income claim, or need for support, if it's a loss of support claim. And it can apply to the past and the future. Um, some examples of these contingencies are changes in inflation, um, unemployment, risks of unemployment, uh, Promotion, so a person either not receiving a promotion or perhaps they receive it slightly earlier or later and uh, divorce or, or other accidents actually occurring. Now you may be wondering how do these contingencies impact the claim? Well, the application of contingencies reduces the income or loss projected for each year by a certain percentage as to take into account the risk associated for each year. Generally, there is more uncertainty about the future than in the past, as the future is usually longer than the past. We therefore apply a higher contingency to the future than in the past. Now you may be wondering, where does Larky keep disappearing to? Turns out he's quite a risky fellow when it comes to doing these videos. It's important to note that it's not up to the actuary to decide on what contingencies to apply to a certain claim. Um, as the actuary generally has never met the claimant and therefore, you know, isn't really in a good position to comment on the risks that would be associated with that person's employment. Contingencies are generally left for legal argument and we act purely on instruction, you know, when we apply contingencies. Some useful uh, tips or things to consider when you are applying contingencies or deciding what contingencies to apply is to consider what the claimant's uh, employment history is like. So, what, um, what their payment structure is, is it a guarantee package or do they earn commission um, or is it performance based? Um, another one is, has the, the client ever lied to you? Because if they have, there's a good chance that they you know, would have lied to the employer or will lie to the employer and perhaps get fired. Another one is their, their past work history. Um, have they been unemployed for long periods in the past because therefore you know, they're likely to experience similar um, you know, unemployment uh, patches in the future. Another one is what is their general health like? So are they, um, you know, a healthy and a healthy individual, and will they potentially experience time time of work in the future? You know, where they won't earn any income. So hopefully, you know, those are the things that that you can consider and incorporate when deciding, you know, what contingency to apply to a claim. Ah, oh, there you hey. are, Loki, you rapscallion. Well, I hope you guys now have a much better understanding of contingencies. Always remember, nothing succeeds like a budgie without teeth. <laughs>